Hey guys, so in this video we are going to talk about Node.js versus Kotlin. So let's get into it. Now, this is a tricky one I have to say because this is like... I love these languages. Like, I, with a passion. My biggest regret is that I can't just like... Like I've been working in Node for for a few years now, and I am very, very con seriously considering going over to using Kotlin. I could to see if I like start working somewhere where I can actually use Kotlin full time to just see how it is. Because I used to be a Java guy, and the, mo my own projects that I've been working with that I've used Kotlin for, it's just been a complete delight. Like, I really have to say it, like, uh, I, this is still an objective comparison, but these are, these are treasured languages for me. So let's talk about Node.js first and foremost. So Node.js, what's great about Node.js? Well, Node.js is, well, it's JavaScript. It's all JavaScript. I find it hard to find something that is more universal than JavaScript. It runs absolutely everywhere. It's the language of the browser. You can build literally everything you could possibly, like, oh, well, not absolutely everything but almost every single thing that you could possibly want to build you can build in javascript no problems the only issue that i really have with javascript is that since it doesn't have a type system it gets a little bit unmaintainable at scale and i would say that if you use typescript for example that's not really much of an issue like you, then you get the typing system you just have to make sure that everybody adheres to it and that you're really really using it because type systems get very important at large scale but they're not so important at smaller scale or mid-size scale so that's why why i really love node i mean it's almost in every project like i to this day i still haven't had a job where i haven't had to use node in some capacity i've never worked well literally yeah that, that's actually it like i've never worked anywhere where it's it wasn't part of the tech stack so yeah, that's probably the best things about Node and the things that are not so great about it. So what about Kotlin then? Well, Kotlin is... Well, the thing is that people have this association with Kotlin and Android, and to a point that is true, it kind of started out that way. But what's beautiful about Kotlin is that it's actually... And this excites me quite a bit. I've seen... I've talked to a few companies that are actually starting to use it on the server side as well. And that's really interesting. So for those of you who don't know Kotlin, it's a IntelliJ product that is based on the JVM. So if you, you know perhaps about Java, and Java runs on the JVM or the Java Virtual Machine, and other languages such as Groovy and Scala, for example, they are also these types of flavors that are languages that can run on the JVM, and Kotlin is very much the same sort of thing. But what stands out about Kotlin is that, uh, to me, it feels like they took all the best ideas from Java, they borrowed some of the best ideas from like something like Swift, for example, main parameters, that sort of thing, optionals, like all that great stuff. And then they just picked out the minimum amount of things that were is really clever about Scala, for example. And they put all that love together into one platform. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but it is it is damn close. It is damn close. I mean, really? I find it really tricky to... F like, it's such a... It's just an enjoyable experience, I, I just have to say. And this is coming from somebody who's been working in Java for... I used to work in Java for quite a while. And, yeah. So to me, I mean, Kotlin, I would really love to see Kotlin become this, like, big boom type of thing, and we kind of almost... I'm not going to say it because I don't ever think that we're going to see a world where Java isn't around. But I would like to see a migration over to Kotlin because there's so many great ideas. Just, yeah. Or maybe Java and Oracle and everybody's going to get clever and like try to steal it over to their platform. We'll see how that works out. I, I actually don't know. So what's bad about Kotlin? Well, the only thing that I don't really like about Kotlin, if you can say, say something like that, is perhaps that 
it's still a little bit early and I don't know if we're ever going to have a, like a real adoption of it out. I, I hope so. I really do, but I don't know how it's still, it's still early. It's still early and er, like when you're, the, the thing is that because Java is such a stable platform, because it's almost, it's not even fair to call them because Java, since Java is such a stable platform, and when you want to do something that is going to be stable over a long time, Java is, to me, the, one of the best choices. It makes Kotlin, I mean, even for Android development, unless, like, I mean, Kotlin just recently kind of came to the platform. You can still build everything in Java. Most of the Android developers, like Android apps are still in Java. And on the server side, it's the same sort of thing. Like, once again, it's a language on top of something else. I don't know. It's it's a tr it's a tricky thing to answer. Like because I, I try to stay objective about these things, but I don't. I, I really struggle to find something that I don't really like about Kotlin. Apart from some of the ideas that they have going, I really don't think that this multi-platform transpilation idea is going to be a good idea. And I don't think it's a good idea to use Kotlin to transpile it to JavaScript or H. Uh, some are like there are even in initiatives where. You transpose like you you write HTML in Kotlin and like no no I don't th I don't think that's a good idea at all I don't think at all I think the core of the language I think that Kotlin sh shall should have the same type of mindset and style that Java and the other like GVM based programming languages have like just make a really good language that is solid for the platform that you're designing it for. Don't try to get clever with transpilers and stuff like that. I mean, I've seen some things that I don't think are like, and that's not Kotlin itself. It's just aspects of Kotlin that I don't think are that great of an idea. So the language is pretty awesome. So when would you use one over the other? Well, I would say this. The obvious answer is, of course, for Kotlin. All right, you're doing mobile development on Android. Well, then you should probably, yeah, <laughs> then you use Kotlin. You don't like don't use like node and like these hybrid solutions that you have like cordova and so forth they it's it's not a great idea i don't think so anyway but if we consider like server side and like the sort of sort of thing that node can be used for and that Kotlin can be used for i would say that if you're a complete beginner you're just looking to learn some programming you just want to get uh, you, you don't really know what you want to do you just want to be a programmer start with javascript because it's going to be more valuable to you or rather the the chances of javascript being valuable to you is much higher than Kotlin. Kotlin is still it's, it's focused on one area. It does the thing it does really, really well, but it's not as broad and as holistic as JavaScript. JavaScript is much more universal. But don't you like use Kotlin for, as, as I said, like kind of with the same mindset that you would use for Java, but better. Like the, that, that's how I think about it. I would use Kotlin for any type of development that I'm going to do towards like a really large system, like say, I'm building a product that is going to be massively large, a lot of people at a big company, something like that. If I'm prototyping, doing my own little thing, or I just want to like build a company from the ground up and I don't really know how things are going to go, I would stick with Java, with Node because it's it's very quick to work in Node it's, and there's a lot of options. And yeah, that's basically how I feel about it. Have a great day.